Well, today is World IVF Day, a day that recognizes the millions of families who have turned to in vitro fertilization on their path to parenthood. But as we know, behind mm -hmm. every success story is a journey of emotion, uncertainty, and resilience. We're joined live in studio by certified fertility expert Elizabeth King. You have guided so many people through the process, so thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. We were saying World IVF Day. I was surprised to hear it's actually been around for 43 yeah. years. Yes. It's come a long way. It has come a long way. And every day I'm amazed that we live in a world that this is possible mm. now. I mean, it's, it's, we're so fortunate because had it been 50 years ago, right. yeah. it wouldn't, wouldn't have been. We were just talking during the break. We're glad that this is part of a conversation, that we can feel comfortable talking about the journey women go through, mm -hmm. and men, uh, for so mm -hmm. many years. And for those who are unfamiliar, can you explain how does IVF work? So IVF is a process where they take the sperm and the egg outside of the body and fertilize it there, and then they would transfer it back into whether it's a surrogate or the intended mother. And so the fertilization is actually outside of the body mm -hmm. and then goes back in as a transfer. Yeah. It, it, it can be such a complicated, I mean, you made it sound so simple, <laughs> but I think for couples going in, I think there's a couple things. I think when they go on the journey of IVF, they've usually exhausted every other right. way to try to have a child. Mm -hmm. That so, is true. So they're already stressed out, maybe, emotional about everything going on. Mm -hmm. They then come into you. I think there is sometimes this false sense that it's going to work right away. Right. And that's not often the case. And that is really the hard part. Mm -hmm. They come to this major decision, okay, we're finally going to do IVF thinking that this is yep. going to be what's going to sure. have their baby in nine to ten months. And unfortunately that's a long process and it could take a while to get there, but it does happen in one and done, but mm -hmm. most of the time it, it's a little bit more of a struggle than it expected. Well, that's Rachel and I were talking. We both have people in our lives who yeah. have went through multiple yeah. rounds of IVF. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, they all have now had children, so we're Yay. very happy for them. Right. But it can take just such an emotional toll, not sure. only on the woman, but a lot of times the men. For sure. And I think that that's something that's not really talked about. The yeah. support system behind the people who are going through it physically, mm -hmm. they don't, they're not, none of us are educated on right. this. None of us know how to navigate this process. And so everybody is learning and situations like this help people bring this awareness mm -hmm. to the fact that this is what's happening. One in six mm -hmm. couples are going through it. So I always say oh, when you're in your in Starbucks six. line, know that other people around you are going oh. through this and know that you're not alone Absolutely. if this is something that you're starting to go down the path in. Yeah, we can't forget, it's not just the woman going yep. through something physical and emotional and mental, it's also their partners. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe uh, the husband or the boyfriend wanted this child you know, more than the woman. Mm -hmm. So I know my brother, who's always wanted to be a father, yes. really had a hard time for many years when they couldn't conceive, and he, he blamed himself a lot. So um, it certainly takes a toll, but it thank sure goodness. Does. Yeah, they, they resorted to IVF. Mm -hmm. um, and. We finally have our nieces. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you were such a proud aunt. I'm I so was glad so that they were so proud. They, so they happy. Also as you should be. <laughs> the journey. Yeah. Good. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, as we're saying, obviously, it, it, it's not just the partner supporting, it is friends, it's family. Right. I think sometimes there's like this reluctance to, to talk about things, or maybe as a friend, you don't know what questions to ask yeah. or what's going to trigger them or, you know, make them upset. So, how do you support people going through this? It is a trick tricky situation, right? When other people around you, usually in that age group, are having kids or and birth announcements and exactly. things like that, and you don't want to make someone feel bad, I think it's really just letting people know they are not there to try to fix something. You're not there to give advice, but I'm here if you need anything. Just listen. Let, just listen. Love Let that. me know if there's anything that I can do. Mm -hmm. I know I haven't been in your shoes, but I want to know what you need to share with mm -hmm. me, and I'm here when you need to share. Mm -hmm. And I think just that alone and giving them the space, because sometimes it takes time to process what you're going yes. through if you're the one that's going through it. So you might not be ready in that moment, but just knowing, okay, if I need to make that call, I know I can make that call. And also seeking out coaches, therapists, or communities that of other people that have gone through it so you can relate. It may not be your exact story, but to know, okay, somebody's gone through it and they've had success, right. you know, mm -hmm. that gives someone else hope and just kind of finding those stories to know it's possible, don't, don't give up, you know, find, find another path that might work for you. Well, we, we're running out of time, but really quickly, the financial impact yeah. can be really devastating to people too. It seems like more companies are starting to offer the uh, reimbursement mm -hmm. for these types of services. Yes, you see a huge, impact of companies 
offering fertility benefits because they know that that's how they're going to retain employees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as well as part-time employment, Starbucks as a part-time employee really? co covers um, oh. IVF. There's am a lot of companies now are offering because it's it's such a needed mm -hmm. service. So look into it if you. So yeah. please look into it. Talk to clinics for sliding scales. There's grants all over the place. So if if financially you feel like you can't do it, look at resources because they are out there to help you. Wonderful to hear. Fertility yeah. expert Elizabeth King, thank you so much for joining us thanks on this World IVF Day. <laughs> yes, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. And for more information on Elizabeth and the work she does, check out our website, kcalnews.com. Click Scene on TV.